Cascading triangles. This is the geometry project that we're going to work on today, and it's a beautiful representation of triangles in motion. We are working from our Waldorf curriculum from live education, and we are going to be copying this picture. So for this project, you will need some paper or watercolor paper, and we're using 90-pound drawing paper by Canson, and you can find this at local craft stores. We will also need a ruler and a pencil and some color pencils and these are watercolor pencils that we're using today. So the first thing you want to do is draw parallel lines and I'm measuring mine approximately one inch from the top and the bottom of the page. And then we're going to want to make approximately 10 increments that are spaced one inch apart at the top and the bottom. So we're not going to need all the points at the bottom but we will need all of the ones at the top of the page. Okay, so now we want to connect the second increment from the bottom with the first increment at the top of the page. And this will be the first part of our triangle. Then you want to connect that top point with the farthest point on the right side. Then we're going to repeat this process, always starting at that second increment at the bottom and then moving from increment to increment along the top so that the bottom points of the triangle always remain the same but the apex of the triangle moves from left to right. And in this way you will end up with a cascading triangle that looks like it's moving from left to right. Now you could stop here and leave it as a pencil drawing, drawing because it's really beautiful as it is, but we want to color ours in. So I'm going to start with yellow and just go through the colors of the rainbow ending with green on the far right side. And this process goes by pretty quickly, but like I said, you could skip it and just leave it as a pencil drawing. And I really like this lesson because it teaches students that triangles can be flexible and have movement when you would otherwise think of a triangle as something very static and very rigid. So I made a little mistake here and I was coloring it a little bit too much so I need to use an eraser to um, erase some of those um, color pencil lines because we're going to be overlapping some of these colors. So this is a really nice project for um, younger students as well as older students or as an introduction to geometry or even trigonometry. So I'm going to add water to this watercolor pencil even though I didn't intend to do that originally because I'm working on drawing paper. And in the future, if I did this project again, I would probably use watercolor paper because it will hold up a lot better to these watercolor pencils. And so this is a nice preview to a lesson that's going to come up later on in geometry in which we're going to be inscribing triangles within a semicircle. So if you want to see how we put together our unit study for math, you can click the right side of the screen. And if you want to see some of our chalk drawings for this math unit, you can click the left side of the screen. And if you're on a mobile device, I will add the links to these videos in the description below. And as always, you can check out my website, pepperandpine.com, for more pictures and information. Okay guys, thanks for watching.